song. Joking. You see me singing half that song, just know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, so what's the inspiration behind this song, bro? Bro, can can I tell you this this entire project? Mm. I would say it was born from another place. Like I said, Gandhi, mm. wisdom. I mm. mean, God inspired. Yeah. Um, I can't really take full credit for all of this. Yeah. Um, prior to this, I was in a space where I felt creatively stuck okay. and creatively mute. Uh-huh. And I, I remember going into the studio one night, it was probably like 3 a.m. And I just played this loop. I had that piano running and I just started spinning. This was like in the middle of the, was it in the pandemic or was it outside? Mm. But I felt like it was. Yeah. Wherever I was, I <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. felt what I was saying. And I just started to freestyle most of it and you know, then started to put some form behind it. And right. Actually, when I played it for one of my boys, this that when he heard that he's like yo bro you need to stop playing <laughs> you need to just release an ep yeah yeah you know yeah. what i mean yeah. at that point i didn't really even really have a plan of releasing any song i mean i think mm-hmm. i might have done other songs but then it just felt like something that was right you know mm-hmm. but yeah as far as inspiration you know the song speaks for itself being in a place where you you are recognizing the the challenges of living a real life yeah but yet there is still a hope you know yet you're mm-hmm. still being driven by something to to, to continue to keep going on and mm-hmm. that's really what the song is about you know in mm-hmm. flesh yeah but a lot of people don't a lot of people don't realize what really goes into creating where so they think that you know Jacob you know bringing out a million a million songs or whatever is like that's easy breezy mm. but you need you need that mental space yeah and, and I think it takes it takes wanting to be vulnerable I, again yeah. because you you talk about the difference between Jacob and Jacob Lawrence yeah Jaco Lawrence is the person that's willing to be vulnerable, willing to make music that mm-hmm. I'm really talking about things that I am experiencing. Right. And I feel like that's the best way to connect with people, you know, because especially now we all going through, we all facing things that are real. And it's very spiritual you know? as well. I noticed that that transition in your in your music as well, and right. yeah, your yeah. delivery and everything is, you know, very very godly and you know cerebral. Hey. <laughs> wow! I see, the, I see, the, I see the earring dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! My God, going to get a dying earring. All right, all right. Next week, next nah, week. <laughs> It'll be too obvious if you do it next week. Oh man. <laughs>